Hi. So today. Today I've been feeling rather split inside of me where on one hand I stand absolute for life and want to do what is best for all and stop abuse in all contexts including myself and by stopping abuse in myself stopping myself from abusing other people and then on the other hand a part of myself misses the familiarity of the past patterns of personality that I justified with memory and these points of personality played out as self-abuse and within self-abuse played out into self played out into abusing others because I was abusing myself So at the moment, I see myself thinking I am living a certain trait and then seeing my outer world saying the opposite, which is, which indicates self-dishonesty, because if I am actually um, self-enjoyment, if I actually enjoy being myself in every moment, this joy would be reflected in my action, therefore would be reflected in other people's reaction toward my action. And also the point of Participating as an observer instead of participating here and stop myself and stopping myself from judging and evaluating my action in every moment. The evaluation, the actual evaluation should already be here if I need to direct myself to evaluate myself that would indicate separation and that I am not actually here. All of the answers, all of the practical living application which I need to do is here if I only allow and accept myself to remain here by forgiving and letting go of all of the mistakes I make and am making in every moment. Because the important point to live is to remain here and establish a point of self-stability instead of being caught up in the mind through self-projection and daydream and fear and survival and self-judgment. <clears throat> being more aware of who I am within my participation in school, I notice a pattern where I 
make myself tired by the end of the school day and then find and then identify with the need, want, and desire to find distractions under the justification that I need to rest and relax before I continue working and revise hard, as if studying has to be strenuous and has to be laborious. So currently pushing for the point of studying becoming a point of self-enjoyment instead, because there is self-enjoyment to be found in homework. Homework is not something special compared to what I currently enjoy, like watching TV shows. They're one and equal. And the point is whether I allow and accept myself to enjoy myself within doing homework. So pushing for that point and currently being extremely watchful and aware of the point of tiredness, the re reacting to school days with tiredness, such that by the end of the week, always a suppressed sense of relief that there is a two-day weekend for me to rejuvenate myself before facing school again, as if it's there to suppress me and make my life difficult, when in fact school does not have to be that way. It is whatever I make of it, it is whatever I allow and accept myself to experience. So also pushing for the point of self-enjoyment within school and at the moment separating myself from the information being shared during class and allowing and accepting myself to be inundated and numbed with information and sitting still for 45 minutes at a time for a whole school day. So the self-solution for me would be to be more intimate with the information being shared and play with it and play with it the same way I have fun with myself, dissecting and probing into the definition of myself, have fun with the arbitrary information that is being shared at school. Arbitrary but necessary. At the moment, it is necessary to learn this information. So I will learn it. I must. if I want to continue living and provide for myself, which I do. And also forgetting the point of fun and self-enjoyment within being myself in every moment and in being myself, embracing all of myself in every moment and also lacking the point of self-expansion as self, as um, forgiving others as I would forgive myself and in that treating others as I would treat myself, treating my neighbor as myself. I haven't lived that yet. 
and I will will myself to I must I must will myself to love my neighbor as myself treat my neighbor as myself how else am I supposed to stop abuse in all contexts? Yeah, that's all I have. Thank you for watching.